Should sex only happen between two people who are married or who love each other? Is it meant for pleasure or solely for reproduction? I recently enjoyed a conversation about sex with a friend's mother who insisted that sex was only for procreation. She said that otherwise it was about physical gratification and little else. It's worth noting that I'm talking about a woman with five children, so it's safe to say she knows something about the matter, and I respect that. But I have four kids myself, so I challenged her assertion. I asked, if sex is simply for procreation, why can people who have passed childbearing years still have and from what I understand enjoy it? Then I explained that I believe sex to be about intimacy. So is all sex intimate, she asked. Yes, I said. There's a level of intimacy occurring when there's sex, all of the time. In fact, with any human interaction, there's some level of intimacy. Sex is a way we connect with one another and satiate a hunger. Not a baseless, animalistic hunger for pleasure, but a hunger for intimacy. If sex was purely about physical gratification, we wouldn't need anyone else. Excuse me for being uh, blunt, but most people know how to fly solo. Yet most of us also want to connect with another person. To be touched, held, kissed, spoken to, noticed, appreciated, liked, or loved. Sex is also intimate in that it requires some level of vulnerability and risk. When we have sex, we risk unwanted pregnancy or contracting diseases. We may also risk our hearts. But knowing all of this, we still do it. So just as there's some level of intimacy in all human interaction, there's also some level of risk. When we exchange money with the cashier at the grocery store, we risk exposure to his or her germs. And when we make eye contact with strangers, we risk making ourselves vulnerable to an attack or being ignored. But we still talk to people, interact with them, and make eye contact because the risk is worth it. Sure, talking to strangers is not as risky as having sex, but it also isn't as intimate. The more you could get hurt by an interaction, in other words, the more vulnerable you're willing to be, the more intimate it is. What do you believe is the purpose of sex and why? Please weigh in at franklove.tv. And until next time, Keep rising. This is Frank Love.